iOS 26.1 is on the horizon and it's got some nifty little UI changes. If you hop into settings then display there's a new liquid glass option and you could choose from a clear or tinted option. So some people were complaining that they couldn't read the text so with the tinted option you get more of a frosted look. It appears within your notifications and also buttons and toggles. Everything is definitely a lot more legible. Pretty nifty eh? Now this effect does not show up in control center. However control center center is a lot more bouncy. Now on iOS you can swipe from the left to access your camera. You can disable this now if you always activate it on accident. Simply open up settings, camera, scroll all the way down and now there is a new option that says lock screen swipe to open camera. You can disable this toggle and no more camera opening on accident. There's also a new Apple music swipe gesture so you can swipe to skip a song or go back to a previous song instead of having to try and and tap those small buttons. I can't really show you this feature because Spotify is superior. In the photos app if you play a video there's now a new scrubbing bar so it looks a lot more put together. Everything is contained within this squarish ellipse including the play button and the mute and unmute button and it definitely makes the old layout look a bit more clunky. And last when you put your iDevice in low power mode the clock app will actually tick individually as opposed to having a smooth swooping motion so who knows how much battery that will save oh wait just a bonus the keypad on the collar is a little bit more transparent as well okay let me know what you think of ios 26.1